Cross-Africa waste management is a huge problem. Thousands of tons of waste are generated daily, most of which end up in open dams or along roads and wetlands. It poses major health problems to local residents, but in Nigeria, the Lagos state government says this is about to change. Africa 54's Paul Diho has more. Lagos, one of Africa's largest cities, generates tons of trash every day, and most of it ends up in landfills or dump sites. The massive piles of garbage are a major healthy hazard, and it's also contaminating the environment. The state government says its pilot waste to energy project is now generating electricity at a demonstration center in the country's commercial capital. The project turns organic waste into electricity, which will supply residents with regular power. The waste to energy project presents a major opportunity for renewable energy and waste management. A pilot project run by the Lagos Waste Management Authority is working to generate power using methanine extracted from rotting fruit waste and then turn it into latinum power. Officials are hopeful that the proposed technology will help to address the energy supply shortages in many regions, create jobs and promote development. Gas is building up over a period of time in the digester. Also, you will have digestates in there in form of organic compost, like a sludge. Over a period of time, you could actually open up here and collect the sludge. This is also good for um, uh, as a fertilizer for the soil and for plants. Implementation of the project will be a new approach to waste management and treatment in the West African nation. Adeo says that about 45% of the city's trash is made up of organic waste and converting it to something more useful and cleaner for the environment is long overdue. The plan modeled on similar ones being used in Norway and Sweden is part of a broader effort to clean up a city that has become known as the garbage capital of the world. Ola Orisani, Managing Director, Lagos State Waste Management Authority. Energy is in demand, waste is a headache. So there's a link between the headache and the demand. So uh, if Lagos is able to convert more of its headache into that demand, then it's, it's kind of a, uh, it bring a smart city program. You know, the city becomes smarter and uh, there's a kind of a resilience uh, that you introduce in the city programs. And that's exactly what Lagos is looking for. Traders at the Ecosi market said the project will help clean up at the local plantain market and also enable them to switch off their generators when the power comes on. I'll fill up because, you know, to, to, to make fruit, to make fruit so the fruit can turn to gas and bring us lights. Yes, I'll fill up in and we enjoy it more than, you know, now we're buying a foil for one I own general per liter. I thought this one would be better than using petrol. The Lego state government is planning to bury the site in that and transform it into a green park with grass and trees built over it. Pipes in the ground will harness the methanine bubbling underneath for the power plant. Analysts say that Lagos needs to rethink how it handles its waste and that the waste to energy project will provide a diversion away from the trash dumps and landfills. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.